This is Randy Santel. Atlas and I am very, very excited and hungry today, but also hot and sweaty because I have this massive bowl of Malaysian style laksa. I'm going for overall victory number 1,167. I'm still in the greater Darwin, Northern Territory area, just like the last time I was here, uh, just a little bit of ways away in Palmerston, uh, doing that burger challenge at District North Kitchen. We've got lots of people here, which is much appreciated. Yes. It's actually lunchtime here today. We are all here at Lisa's Lunch Bar. I'm hoping to become the very first person to dominate their giant laksa bowl challenge. Now, they're very well known for this giant laksa challenge. We are here in Winelli, uh, which is just outside of Darwin, but I've got just 35 minutes to finish their entire giant Malaysian laksa challenge. Now, this is just one of the normal portion bowls. This is equal to five of these, pretty much. Now, there are 800 grams of noodles half egg noodles and then half, I call it vermicelli, but I guess they call it vermicelli here, but either way, uh, rice noodles. So we've got all those noodles. And then there is 600 grams of four different proteins, three meats, and then we've got some, I guess, sponge tofu right here. I thought it was bread, so did Katina, but that is tofu. We also have barbecue pork, we've got chicken, and then we've got beef. So in addition to that, we've got six ladles equal to three liters of their laksa broth. The red comes from all the spices. There's a whole bunch of spices, but it's also a coconut milk base. So we've got some healthy vegetables on top. We've got all this food, 35 minutes. If I fail, it's gonna be 60 Australian dollars or around 40 American dollars. But if I do win, I'll get my entire giant bowl for free. I will get a sweet t-shirt and then I'll get my name and photo. I'll be the first up on the wall of fame and I will get bragging rights here at Lisa's Lunch Bar in Winelli, Northern Territory. Let's get this challenge started. All right, it is Lisa's Lunch Bar, but Lisa was the original owner. I guess this place is about 20 years old, but big thank you to the owners, Sam and Ness. They got this challenge started, I think, when they bought the place in 2019. But let's get them the first winner up on the Wall of Fame. I'm gonna use chopsticks as long as I can. We will just see. And then I'm gonna ring the bell to start, and I've gotta ring it to finish. But one, two, three. Boom! All right, let's do it. All right, I am excited. You can go with it mild spicy, medium spicy, or hot. Right now I think it's mild, but I've got all these peppers to add into it if I want to. We will see what happens. It's uh, pretty nice right now. And I will say, if you have your face close enough, you know it's got coconut in it. Let's try some of this sponge tofu. If you're into that, that's pretty good. I'm gonna put this up for a vote. Should I add in all these peppers or should I leave them be? Leave them be. Let's just see what happens. Hopefully that's the dumbest thing I do today. 218. It'd be worse if they were marinating in the broth this whole time, but I just added them, so it shouldn't be too bad. As you can see from the wall of shame, like 12 people have tried this, only one person's been able to get close. Based on how I feel now, I think we're gonna get it and be the first winner. We're 440 in. It's getting harder to use the chopsticks, which means I've got too much broth in here. So let's drink some of that. It's very easy to drink temperature-wise. Ooh, I can see all the oil in this. This is not a skinny challenge. All right, 
one one more thing of broth, and then we're gonna eat more meat and uh, noodles. All right, we've got the laksa-based sweats. All right, we're eight minutes and five seconds in. We're making good time. more things of what I can get with these chopsticks and then we'll do more broth. Getting a bottle of water to help get the rest of this down. It's, it's going down very well. I've had laksa before. I'm not sure if I've had actual Malaysian laksa. I don't really don't know all the differences, but I do know this is very good. Thank you, Katina. I just love you. All right, let's start drinking out of the bowl. We're 12 minutes, 27 seconds in. Out of interest in finishing as fast as I can, we're switching over to uh, my slotted spoon. I'm sitting for this one, which is stupid. I usually kneel, but it's a very hard floor. And I think I was a little bit overconfident at the start, thinking I was gonna do this in 10 minutes, but we are 15 and a half minutes in now. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that I'm further than anybody else has gotten before, but we're not there yet. 18 and a half minutes in. All right, last bit. Does that qualify? Sure does. Oh, okay. Ooh. 19, minutes and 19 minutes and 56 seconds. I have definitely never had that much laksa before, and ooh, that was a lot of coconut milk uh, to finish. I don't know how much was actually in there with all of the normal broth and the spices and all that, but what I do know is that was delicious. I loved all of the meats in there. Uh, it was a combination of beef, pork, and chicken. And then there was a whole bunch of tofu. So really enjoyed that. Uh, that was very light, so it was all floating up at the top. Uh, a lot of that meat I finished there at the end because I mostly got noodles. Uh, the vermicelli or vermicelli. Uh, how do you say it? Let me know down in the comments. But yeah, all of it was awesome. So big thank you to everybody here with Lisa's Lunch Bar, uh, especially the owners, Sam and Ness. They've had this place since 2019. I am honored to be the first person up on their wall of fame. Then yeah, overall victory number 1,167. So I am gonna watch Katina try this to watch her video. The link is down in the description. And then after she finishes, I am going to check out some of the other stuff on the menu here at Lisa's. They had stroganoff available. They had butter chicken. They have a whole bunch of different dishes to enjoy in addition to laksa, which is what they're most known for. But great to get here while we were in the Northern Territory. We head to Brisbane, Queensland tomorrow, where we're gonna do like four or five challenges all around Brisbane and the Gold Coast. So those videos will be next. Thank you guys for watching. And if you did like this one, be sure to watch either this video or this video. They're both similar and I know you'll like those as well. But either way, I'll catch you in the next video. Win before you begin. Thanks for watching.